Hi, my name is Bob, and welcome to another Basic Baking. We have here a cookie sheet. Everyone's familiar with that. And that's what we're going to be baking tonight, a cookie. A little different cookie. It's a rolled, rolled and filled cookie. It's usually made during the holidays in this household. Right. Very easy to make, although it is a little time consuming because you have to roll these things up. It is a basic baking recipe. In other words, there are four ingredients, and that's it. Well, base, except for the filling, which is can be your choice. We'll show you three different types of fillings and uh, what you can do with them. So, first, bowl. And we'll cut to a close-up. Four cups of flour into a large bowl. This is a very, uh, this recipe makes a large number of cookies. I'll tell you exactly how many, because they do vary uh, depending upon how you uh, roll it out and cut it. So, I occasionally will make a half a recipe, three, because uh, it takes so long to make a full recipe. Four cups of flour. Next, four sticks of margarine or butter, depending upon your taste. Uh, just cut these into it. We'll uh, blend them in later. That's this is equivalent to uh, two cups of margarine. In quarter of a stick being a half a cup, quarter of a stick being equivalent to uh, a half a cup. Two. One interesting thing about these rolled cookies is that they do not contain sugar, refined sugar as such. They, of course, contain some sugar in your fillings. Doesn't there we go. You don't have to be this neat. And we take a uh, pastry blender and cut this margin of butter into the flour. This takes some time. You want nice, small pieces of margin coated with flour. idea of what we're doing here. You could probably do this in a, uh, a mixer. I should do it in a mixer. Probably it will be faster. go. See, we just have to blend it a little, mix it up. We're not going to get it because what we're going to do is to knead this, of course. There we go. That's 
a big piece in there. This is the only bad part, egg yolks. So we separate the eggs. See, a recipe made me low in sugar, but with egg yolk, it's certainly not light in cholesterol. Uh, although, one or two of these cookies certainly won't hurt you. The other problem with this is, of course, you have all this egg white here. And what do you do with egg white? That's a good question. The number of times I've made this, I still haven't figured out a useful uh, thing to do with this egg white. Normally I just take it all and put it in the refrigerator for a while. And after a long while I take the egg whites out and toss them. Or I'll uh, put them in the microwave, cook them, cut them up and put them out for the birds during the, the winters. One more ingredient. Final ingredient, sour cream. Mmm. <clears throat> I love sour cream. One full cup of sour cream. That's a cup, isn't it? Ba and that is it. Your basic recipe here consists of flour, margarine, egg yolk, and sour cream. <clears throat> now, we'll mix this together and get ready for kneading and rolling out. That's the fun part. this in again. As you can see this is a large bowl and there is going to be lots of dough. Once you get the sour cream and egg yolk in it adds moisture to it and this will blend. This blends a lot uh, faster. I use a spoon, you use a fork, We'll get down to the basics of using our hands in a few minutes. You have to get that off the bottom. You want that a little moist. Ah. That's good. Now it looks like we're going to have to roll up our sleeves and prepare for kneading. Camera's moved. Onto a flour surface, 
lightly because you always use more flour than you need. We're going to take our mixture. Let's get the camera here. One. Ah, great stuff. Two. Now we'll get our hands in and mix this up good. Oh, it feels nice. Get it off. There we go. Now, we're going to knead this a little. Mix. Kneading is just folding over. So all the ingredients mix. We roll it over, fold it over, and fold it over, and fold it over. You don't want to overdo this because it does contain margarine and it's going to get a little sticky once it warms up. Feels a little moist. Add a little more flour. You have to go by the feel of this. Not too moist. Sticky. I'm doing this on a plastic surface here because <clears throat> I will be rolling it out on the same surface and cutting it. And I don't want to cut the uh, surface below. That happens to be a butcher block. If you have a counter that's different, I don't, I don't know what you use. Some people have marble surfaces to uh, roll on. And I'd say that's it. What we do here now is I'm going to cut this in two. Split it in two. That's, you'll find that is a lot of cookie dough. I'll just cut it in two here. See that? Nice. Yellow. Make this into a patty. This one, wrap it in some wax paper, room of oil, plastic wrap, and refrigerate for a few minutes. Don't want it to be out here that long. Now, let this get a smooth surface. Little stickums here. Clean off the hands a little. And now we're going to roll this out. Going to, let's see, let me cut this in thirds. I don't want to make them too big. I'll just put these in the bowl here. Take that one. A little flour. The plastic surface here is handy in that 
it does have circles in case you're doing uh, pies. And, uh, I will be getting to a pie. I promised you a pie. Uh, but I haven't had time. Okay. Uh -huh. Both sides. Get our rolling pin. Now, how thin do we roll these? I don't know. Whoops. That's too thick. Let's get these down. It doesn't have to be very thin, but they do grow when they are baked. Hope you can see all that. Just a little thinner. It's not a thick, it's not a roll, uh, a cut cookie. So, you have to remember to remember that. You have to remember that. When you roll this, you're going to have three layers. There we go. Now, our sharp handy knife again, and we cut, you can use a, whatever, I use a knife. Now, these are about an inch and a half right, wide strips. I usually do them the other way, but I'm doing it this way for the camera. Let's try it this way. Maybe you can see inch and a half wide strips. And we'll re-roll these excess later. Okay, now, now I make these about two inches, you'll be shorter, use your own judgment, okay, and we lift it, okay, you say, well, that isn't much of a cookie, you're right, it's not much of a cookie right now, but it will be, let me now, get to uh, some fillings because we're ready to fill. Okay, we have here our little rectangle of pastry and we're going to fill it and then roll it up. I'm doing this so you can see me. I like to get on camera every now and then, not just my hands. We're going to fill it and roll it. Just like that. We'll get a close-up shot of that in a minute. There are a number of fillings you can use based upon your own taste. What I'll be making consists of, this is ground walnut. You can use almonds, almond paste, uh, purchased off the shelf in cans, a walnut paste. These are ground walnuts which I'm going to make a paste out of by just mixing this with some honey. They're very good if you like uh, walnuts. The other one, and this is one of my favorites, is uh, whipped prunes. You can buy this purchased prune filling. It's used in a number of pastries. And a third, all right, this happens to be a, a fruit filling designed for cookies, etc. It's a little heavier than a jam. 
you can use jams, but they have a tendency to, to run uh, during the baking. So you have, wind up with a sticky tray. I haven't tried this one before, this brand, uh, but let's see how it goes. We'll first fill some, well this happens to be raspberry filling, then some with the walnut mixture, and then some with the prune, and we'll lay them out for you. So. Watch me fill. I usually use a small spoon. You take a square. Get that. Okay. Something like apply it. Not too much. <laughs> you want to, and now we roll it. one up and place it on the tray. The seam sign down because you'll see. Take another one. If it's imperfect, use the uh, imperfect side on the inside and use the square cut on the outside. There you go. Like this. These may be a little too thick. That's a little too much. Take that off. If you think they're a little too thick, just give them a quick roll and they're thin again. Fill and roll. Simple enough. One more. Square, rectangle, I should say. Filling. Over and around. Now that was a quick, easy four. Now, now we're going to fill a set with, uh, let's get back, pause. I made the uh, walnut paste by simply mixing honey into the ground walnuts. Uh, probably it's a little drier, it could be a little moister. That on there. And roll. Okay, try another one. You don't need, I said, a whole bunch of filling, just enough. Okay, filling, roll it over, and roll. Two, one more. See here, that's the band in. That goes on the inside. No one will see it, but they certainly will taste it. Great. Okay. Now. make some of these prune mixture. And this is not a commercial product. I happened to make this a little earlier. I just ground up some prunes, add a little fluid to make them a little moister. Uh, they don't need any sugar. 
They're sweet enough. And they are good. As you can see, you gotta get your hands into it. One, two, and three. What is essential about this, not the filling, but the the pastry crust, the pastry dough, which I which is very tasty. Okay. Now, I'm going to uh, finish off a tray and we'll get back to you. Yeah, for that dough that I had made. And it looks like I'll have about, about, I will have five dozen cookies. That's quite a bit, five dozen. And that's with half of a, uh, a dough. Uh huh. We are about to start to bake. The baking is done in a 400 degree oven, preheated. The oven told me it was just preheated. And they take about 10 to 12 minutes, depending upon uh, how your oven is. Uh, these, should, these should take 12 minutes on the nose. They should be a golden brown on the top. And it's quite expanded. Now these last ones are quite thick. Should roll them out some more. Had them a little thinner. So the <clears throat> recipe as I, I gave you should make about 10 dozen cookies. 120, 10 and a half, depending on how you, how thin you roll and uh, the size of the, the rectangles that you make. That's it. The cookie sheet the placing does not have to be greased. There is enough in this batter keep them from sticking the margin itself. So, oh, let's squeeze another one out of here and we'll put those in the oven. And then we'll start on the other badge. Now here we have three dozen cookies laid out. Nice and rolled excess dough here and into the oven they go. Uh, okay they're just about ready to come out. See how gold and brown they are and see how they really didn't need a greased uh, cookie sheet here. The sliding around already. Uh, as you can see the these did they did grow a little, and they feel like they'd pop out of some of the raspberry filled ones. I hope I can remember which is which. Okay? But uh, once you taste them, you'll know which is which. Now, we put these on a plate. these up so I don't know which flavor is which. I think these were just cooked about a minute too long. I'll show you in a second. So they can cool. As you, oops, 
Can you see? It's gotten a little brown on the bottom, but they're nice and golden colored on top. Now these are warm and shouldn't be eaten warm. Get back to that later when they cool. Now I'm going to put these here to cool and put the second batch in. My timer. 12 minutes. Let's see how this one comes out. We'll let these uh, I'll let these cool. They're quite delicate. I'll uh, they should be spread out so they can cool faster. You can use a cooling rack. I just put them on a plate, uh, making sure they're not one on top of the other. Uh, these can be prepared a couple of days in advance before they're used. They keep well, provided they're in a dry, cool place. They don't have to be refrigerated in a closed container. Uh, when they're cool, I will dust them lightly with confectionery sugar. Uh, that's the way we've always done it. I believe you could, if you wanted to, get colored sugar, sprinkle them on top while they're warm, let the sugar melt and you'll have a nice red green glaze on them for the holidays. Or powdered sugar is quite good. That's the only other thing. I, I'm, I'm tempted to taste one, but they're, they're a little bit too warm for me right now. So. Uh, We'll be uh, back when they're finished. So we'll just uh, pause and I'll get back to making some more. You don't want to watch me do this. You've already seen me make a couple. Oh, there you are. All nicely dusted with powdered sugar, ready for tasting. Nice roll cookie, easy to make. Minimum ingredients. Oh, let's see, which one shall I try? Let's break the mold here. Good. So try making these and enjoy. They're delicious. So that's another basic baking. We hope you enjoyed it. If you would like this recipe and others you have seen on basic baking, please drop us a line uh, at Norfolk Cable Corporation, P.O. Box 181, Norfolk, Mass. 02056. You will be sent printed copies of any recipe you'd like, the cookies, cheesecake, uh, blueberry gingerbread, and any that we happen to show in the future. You just drop us a line anytime. Also, if you out there who have camcorders, because that's all that camera is, is a camcorder, on a tripod, and I'm doing this by myself. You can videotape it yourself or contact us at Norfolk Cable. We'll have someone come over at your convenience and videotape you in preparation of your, your little goodie, whether it be a warm meal, a seven course meal, a, a cookie delight, or whatever have you. Participate in Local Access TV. We're here for you, and we want to do everything we can for you. So enjoy the evening, and we'll catch you again on Basic Baking whenever we get around to cooking something good. Good night.